the eve of making almost 50 to 60 Cullinans, we have built something special. 20,000 hours is what we have put into the Cullinan, and to mark that special occasion, this Mandarin interior Cullinan looks absolutely phenomenal. So guys, this is probably what I think to be the most comprehensive color and we've built. It's got some extras on here, like the orange flashes and the lights, you like it? Looks great. You like yeah, it? Love yeah, it. Woo -hoo -hoo. We did this kind of on a whim. This is like when he does something or I do something, <laughs> and we always tell each other afterwards. Obviously, if this is the first time that you're looking at one of our videos, you will not know how comprehensive our color and kit is. It's full body replacement, front and rear bumpers, spoilers, arches, and sills. How many man hours go into this? From a roll of material to yeah. as it stands today, 337. So this kit took 337 hours. Now, if we break that down into just one person, it would be a hell of a person. <laughs> we'd want to clone them. Um, then it's seven and a half weeks work for one guy to take it through that entire process. And that, guys, is why it's expensive. But <laughs> we will get off the track of expensive for a second and go back into detail. So, well, like the car, it's hand built. Yep. And everything here is handmade. So it's quite a good fit doing a, a handmade kit for a hand built car. And it, time is money at the end of the day. You know what, one thing that people have said, especially our technicians, that this is probably the best car that they've ever worked on. The tolerances on this car are millimetre perfect. And we generally have issues with other cars, don't we? Because they're not as good as this. Yeah, and great. our tolerances are better than manufacturer, I, dare I say that. I think we had a good compliment at Goodwood last year, didn't we? To do with the Rolls-Royce. Yeah, the guy, the, one of the engineers from Rolls-Royce came over and he said, I've never seen any aftermarket kit fit as good as yours and that runs through to every installer that's installed one of these they say it's the best ever so where are all of these man hours in the kit obviously we've got the front bumper here yeah so I mean, this is a, as a front end assembly from the, the main bumper to the grills drl and splitter just under 70 hours to, to take that from material in a freezer yeah. through to a painted installed front end pack. I mean, it's a considerable amount of work and obviously, just so people know, why do we use carbon versus plastic on something of this size? I think we, we've always been um, akin to the integrity we, we get from it. We know where we stand. Um, and from a commercial perspective, the volume involved yes. with a Rolls Royce compared to a, a run rate product like a Defender, it just works. It goes hand in yeah. hand. So obviously all of these components here, there's like, there's so many, how many have we got in this car? Uh, there's 19 different components, yeah. um, 34 moulds. And at the back? So obviously starting with the rear bumper, yeah. which on this was the first car, if you remember, we did as a complete rear bumper diffuser assembly. Um, so that, that's that side of it. And then obviously the upper and lower rear spoilers, uh, again, they're made in component format before we can then assemble it. Um, and then at the back here, you've got assembly jigs. So you'll place uh, like the lower part of the lower spoiler in here. And so basically this gives you like even distribution. It's like a pressure when, plate basically. So when you're bonding it, it doesn't bond in yeah. one particular area. So I think this is probably our 50th or 60th kit. Yeah, I'd agree. Man hours. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I can't even work that out. Don't forget, we've got, we've got forge kits we've thrown into yeah. that pot. I'd say probably maybe 10 or a dozen out of that are forged. Yeah. And the fact we're approaching 500 hours of forge kit, uh, this program, 20,000 man hours probably to date. 20,000 man hours. Yeah, I forgot about the forge kit for Scott Disick. If you haven't seen that already, get up there. There's a link up there. You can see that video. Fantastic handover in LA. But yeah, Matt, 20,000 plus man hours. And this is just one car that we do. Just low volume. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not high in labor. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So you can see the differences of why we will make something out of plastic and something out of low volume, opulent carbon. I think we should take you back to how the process works. I'll start by getting the rear bumper off and then I might have to get some help with the rear bumper to see how I actually need to build it up. I'm 
going to take out the sensors in the loom, um, all the little bits and pieces that we basically transfer over to the new bumper. I don't think it will take that long. To be honest with you, I didn't build the front up on this, like as in put all this in, the lights in and stuff like that. Sam done it upstairs for me. So all I have to do is the finishing touches. You right mate? Yeah, sorry, I'm doing a bit of work, bruv. I am. Um... So they have to unscrew each fan and paint individually? A screw, screw fan. One, two, three. 22. Has to be rubbed down, painted individually. Yeah. And the rear side painted orange, masked up, then the front side painted black, and then the whole lot lacquered over. They probably hate me. Yeah. Do they hate me for doing this? They hate you. Well, he hates himself also because the first time he did it, he dropped one of them and had to redo it. Ah. <laughs> the hate is stronger for himself yep. than us, than me. I use us because we're in this together, aren't we? We're, we're in, the Urban is a family. What's that? What are you doing? And the lights on. What lights? You put lights in it? There's lights in it. What? There's lights in it. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Nah. Oh, when I said put lights in it, I was joking. I nah. This is where he blows it up. Obviously, you have to. Oh. You have to imagine that the. That's so cool. And obviously, we can run them. I mean, this isn't this isn't the f the, f the first one ever. It has been no, done. We, it has been done by other people. We, yeah. It's been done by Platinum. We can't take any credit for this. No. But I don't think anyone's done it in the UK yet. That's so cool. So what is it? Just automotive LED lighting strip? It's just a 12 volt waterproof LED strip, yeah. So it's probably the cheapest part on this car. Um, it was 15 pounds. A 15 pound light upgrade. To you, sir, 999.95. million dollars. <laughs> That's so cool. It's complimentary with the, no, actually it doesn't. <laughs> you don't want to say that. All the work involved, the coloured blades and the lights, it's just a one-off. It's an absolute signature car, yeah. which we're never ever going to do again. So I don't know why we're showing you this. But it looks cool, doesn't it? It does look cool. I you can't wait. To, you have to move though, and you look a bit weird when people wonder what you're doing. It's like the old, you know, with the old magic eyes. It's <laughs> you remember like that, you end up cross-eyed. The Same fact sort of that this has got the orange to match the pinstripe on the outside to match the interior. I'm really excited about how this one's going to go together. Mm. John, so when good. is this going to be complete? What else you got to show us? Hold on a minute, he's got something else to show us. This is exciting. I bet you're going to get a badge or something like that. Oh, you spoil it for everyone. Oh, look, you look, at his, oh, look, at, look at his guy's <laughs> little face, look. Oh, uh, you, uh, uh, I already know which one I'm going to pick. Which one I'm going to pick? I know, I know which one I'm going to pick. Yeah, that one. No? Ch no way. <laughs> Not a no, chance. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. John, it's just the little touches, isn't it? See, that's just too much. Yeah, I think that's a bit. I bet these were more expensive. Ah! Oh, that come out of the body shop. Oh, that was close. I bet this was more expensive to do than the LED lighting, weren't it? Like hundreds of pounds to get this like rubbed down and intricate. Um, it looks yeah. great though, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And obviously there's Three, four of them. Are we going to put like anything orangey in the wheels or, a black, or brake calipers? Is there anything else that we're... No, we're not messing around with the brake calipers for the warranty reasons. Warranty reasons. Uh, Rolls Royce, yeah. yeah. So, you know the, the rings that go around the floating centre cap? What about them in orange? Yeah, so the clip-out ring, we can do that in orange. Or what about the actual RR logo inside the floating cap? No, because no. that's chromed on the inside. You can't paint that, really. I don't think. So if we can do the ring... Yeah, so this bit... Do that yes. in, in orange. Yeah, do that in orange. Here we go. And you know what? I think our supplier actually has stealth versions of these. So if we could get a stealth version of that and then the orange ring around the outside, that's a nice little touch. So now it's your job that to is go your up mission. to the paint shop manager while he's sat in his office and he's going like this. No, Already. No. I mean, after we must this, have bought a job lot of the Mandarin paint. You must have a bit left over. It's like paint. It's that easy, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Anything is easy after doing them, trust me. Yeah. Really, yeah. Cool. He only did that, I think, I think it was so, five or ten. So never again, unless it's 
Show us the money. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Show me the money. It's a nice. ten thousand pound option, like the um, fur rug mat things. Oh, oh yeah. The, yeah. Let's look. Let's not go into that. Yeah. Let's not go into that. But it's the, like four grand. The lamb's wool. I'd literally go into a field and shave a sheep myself. Right, Dye right, it black. Right, right. Put it together. How nice would that be in your front room between your toes? Yeah. I oh, know. It's probably it's like Rolls Royce, your Rolls Royce rug mats. Yeah. Anyway, nice. Work. Nice, my son. Yeah, it's going well so far. I've done too many. He's done too many and <laughs> I haven't done one before, so. That's the f in it, that real. It's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we show you off in front of the camera, mate? <laughs> so, what's left is wheel spacers and wheels. We've got the wheels behind you there. And we've got 30 mil spacers all round to fit to this. Get the fitment right. So to the disappointment of our workshop manager, I actually like making individual cars. Mm. I mean, we're gonna promote it now. He's gonna have the ump on Monday. But the fact of the matter is, we don't have enough people do this to their cars and we want people to do this to their cars. Yeah, yeah. But I, I did say on an Instagram post recently that, you know, it's all about evolving, isn't it? And I yeah. say every couple of months, this is my new favorite build, but that's a good thing because we do keep evolving into the next thing. Obviously this one is the, the light up grill with the, 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 the color grill one side, yeah. the pinstripe, a much brighter color, the color coded badges, the color coded rings and the alloy. So it is another black color them, but it's all that individuality that that's makes right. a big difference. The, with the orange interior, I would have always said I would never ever spec something like that, but I, lo I love it. It looks so great. I just want to do another one in like a, a darker colour with a bright interior, like a, a blue or a green or a yellow, and do the same individual bits. So I, genuinely, I know I have said it before, and I'll say I'll probably say it in another couple of months' time. Right this is my, by far in eight years my favourite urban build, just because it looks different to what we would usually different do. Different to what we normally do, yeah. It'd be great if it was a different exterior color, but we have to go with something safe, don't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe a Tempest gray with a bright color, because Tempest is quite a subtle color. Yeah. I imagine that with a real bright blue interior or something. With Tiffany blue, it would look great, but God, that would sit on stock forever. <laughs> In the UK, it would anyway. So what do you guys think? Is this your favorite build that we've done? What should we do? What should be the next special signature build that we do?